In today's video, we're doing up some smoked chuck roast on the Oklahoma Joe's Rider DLX. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, I'm doing up some chuck roast with my great buddy pal Dale. And the Rider DLX did a fantastic job on these chucks. Now a lot of people call chuck roast a poor man's brisket. I'm going to tell you that I can actually get brisket cheaper than chuck roast. So throw away that crock pot and grab a smoker, Sally. We're going to smoke up some chuck roast on the Oklahoma Joe's Rider DLX. In today's video, we're doing up some smoked chuck roast on the Oklahoma Joe's Rider DLX. And last night I seasoned up these chuck roasts with some Suckle Busters SPG and 1836 beef rub. I wrapped them up in some plastic wrap and put them back in the fridge so they could sit in there overnight. And my buddy Dale is joining me because there is no car show this year and this is a way for us to cook together. We're having a 4th of July party and I'm excited to hang out with him and his family. Last year we started a tradition, invited Dead broke barbecue and ricer to do a cook at the car show unfortunately with the current situation and the car show being canceled this year we had to find a new event so we decided our family fourth of july barbecue was a perfect time to feature dead broke barbecue and i'm really excited that dale invited me because i'll tell you what this is going to be one heck of a party so what are we waiting for let's get the oklahoma joe's rider dlx fired up ricer can I push the start button? You sure can, Dale. Every backyard barbecuer needs a good assistant, and I got one today. All right, let's hit the start button. Crank it up to 250. We're gonna open up the lid and let all the white smoke out. The white smoke is gone, and the Ryder DLX is burning clean. Let's get these chuck roasts loaded up. Today, Ricer said we're using the top rack. So we're gonna load up the chuck roasts. Man, they look awesome. We're gonna add this pan of water right to the middle of the fire pot for some moisture. We're gonna close up the lid, set a timer for one hour, come back and rotate the chuck roast end for end. All right, our one hour timer went off. Let's go ahead and rotate these chuck roasts. Okay, all right, well, they're starting to get a little bit of smoke on them, but they're looking a little dry. Just gonna take and rotate them 180. Move them over a little bit. Spun around. You want to keep them a little bit separation in between them. As much as we can. We don't have quite two inches, which is always good, but oh well. It's a work. Close up the lid and set a timer for another hour. And then just keep on coming out and rotating them from left to right. And when it gets on this side, flop it all the way over to the left side and also turn them 180 degrees. That way they're getting some evenly cooking temps and it helps to get these off all at the same time. And also the next time I check them, if they're not starting to sweat up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz them up just a little just to keep that moisture on top. I'll just use a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a half water mixture. Now today's video is sponsored by Wines Till Sold Out. Ricer, Ricer, I've watched enough of your videos. Let me do this. Sure. Now today's video is sponsored by Wines Till Sold Out or WTSO.com. Ricer, let me get this straight. Wines Till Sold Out gets all these wines in from around the world? Exactly. Well, what a great idea. So if they use your promo code BBQ20, they get $10 off of a purchase of $50 or more? They're paying us to drink. Exactly. It's perfect, ain't it? Great. So what are you waiting for? Head over to WTSO.com and get yourself a great bottle of wine for your next backyard barbecue. I know I'm going to as soon as I get home. Smart thinking, Dale. Hey, can we open this now or do we have to wait for the meat? Let's open it now. Let's have a party. Great. Well, you did such a darn good job on that, Reed. You might as well open up the bottle. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. That ain't a bad pop. Cheers. Cheers. 
That's awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Wine Still Sold Out, for sending me this bottle of Rioja. Dale and I are going to enjoy this a lot with these smoked chuck rolls. Oh, I didn't realize it wasn't supposed to be a shot. It pays to be a Patreon of Dead Broke Barbecue. Wine, barbecue, video appearance. Check out the link below. You never know, someday it may be you. All right, our one hour timer went off. Let's go ahead and check out these chucks. All right, well, they're starting to sweat up good. That's nice, I like seeing that. Getting a little juice on top. Start taking these and slide them over. Rotating them, 180 degrees. And I'm also gonna go ahead and hook up my thermal works. Put our ambient temperature right about there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just put this meat probe right about here into this chuck roast. And I'm also just gonna give it just a little bit of moisture on top. They are sweating up good, but this ain't gonna hurt it none. Now I'm gonna close up the lid and set a timer for another hour. I'm actually cooking these chuck roasts up to around 175 degrees. I want a real stiff, outer, dark bark on these. And typically it's right around 175 to 180 degrees before it gets the bark that I'm looking for. And then once that rub is set and sticking to the meat, I'll go ahead and throw them in a foil pan and add a little Rioja for our braising liquid. And then we're gonna strive for probe tenderness after that. I'll bring you back once I'm ready to foil these up. And also, if you're looking for a fancy spritzer like this, check the links below. It's in there. All right, these chuck roasts have been on for five and a half hours now, and I'm running right around that 185 degrees eternal temperature on them. I ran them a little bit higher this time because I was really looking for a dark bark. All right, these are looking really nice. I like the color of this bark. It's that really dark mahogany. The rub is sticking. These are ready to get into a foil pan and start braising them up. Get our probes out, and we'll also get out our water pan. Start getting these chuck roasts in here. And I want to make sure that they all fit flat. Squeeze this in just about like that. And this little guy is going to fit right there. Get in just a little bit of this apple vinegar cider. And of course, we gotta add some real hot to it. That should be about enough. Get some foil over the top of it. Put it right back up on top of the top shelf. And we'll stick our probe temp right back into this one back here. And we'll put our ambient temperature back over in that corner. Close up the lid and set a timer for one hour, but I'm gonna monitor my thermal work signals. And then when I get around that 200 degrees, we'll start checking for probe tenderness. All right, we're seven hours into this cook and my thermal work signals is saying that we have an internal temperature of 206 degrees on that one chuck roast. So let's go ahead and start checking to see if we have some probe tenderness so we can say that these babies are done. I'm gonna tell you one thing, they smell delicious. Got a little bubbly bubbly going on. Eh, still a little stiff. Not bad. Oh, that's really tender there. I think we're gonna rotate it because these are feeling a little bit smoother than this one over on this side. Not bad here. We get in this center part, it's a little stiff. We're just gonna rotate them 180 degrees. Get our probe back in, same spot. Close up the lid and set a timer for 30 minutes. These are really close, it's just that one chuck roast. The bigger one actually is still feeling a little bit of pullback. So I'm gonna give it another 30 minutes and then these all should be done and we can give it a two hour nap. All right, our 30 minutes are done. Let's go ahead and check out these chuck roasts, but I can almost guarantee they're done. Pull out our probe. Oh yeah, these are done, just like peanut butter. All right, we're gonna get these out of the rider and let them burp off. And what I mean by burping off is just leave this aluminum foil open for a little bit and let that steam so it doesn't continue on cooking. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw it in a cooler and give it a two hour nap. These chuck roasts have rested for two hours. Let's pull them apart and give it a try. Ricer, should I just pull it apart? Yeah, just get your hands in there, buddy. 
Oh my goodness. Can I try some? You sure can, bud. Wow. Very tender. I mean, when it comes to pulling chuck roast, all you have to do is just get your hands in there and start grinding it up. And it's real simple. When do I have to stop eating? You can keep on eating the whole time, brother. <laughs> this is your party. What's the flavor on this thing? Well, we got some Suckle Busters SPG and the 1836 beef rub. I'm gonna try a little piece of the bark. Oh yeah, perfect, very tender. You can see that it's juicy. Now we've got some little flies flying around us right now and they're pissing me off. <laughs> so we're gonna make this quick and we're just gonna keep on smushing right into this. And grind it right up. It's kind of like kneading dough. If you get some good chuck and there's not a ton of fat and grizzle in it, it doesn't take long. All right, so this chuck roast turned out perfect and it's nice and juicy. If you do the same thing that we just did right here, you're gonna have a very successful sandwich for sure. I'm telling you, this bark and the moisture that we got in here, oh yeah, it's worth a lot of money. And thanks again to WTSO for supplying the Rioja. It's gonna wash this down perfect. Hey boys, if we don't get this chuck roast to this party pretty soon, it's gonna be a late firecracker! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss my next video! But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Should I say the white smoke's gone? Yep. Burning clean? The white smoke's gone. Okay, go ahead. Well, I'm funnier than you are. Sometimes. Ah, that's, that was good. That was good. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. God, that smells good. Oh, look at them bad boys. How sweaty do I look? How sweaty I am. You're fine. All right. It says Moist is one of my first girlfriends. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's going to make a blooper. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's the ring. Yeah, the smoke ring. It's bug poop off. <laughs> well, you don't have to trim it, and, but it's like foolproof. It's like for dumbasses. Right. Okay, so let's get. Barbecue for dumbasses.